النهارده ضيفنا فنان برازيلي بعض الناس قالوا عليه انه رسام الثوره المصريه رسوماته دايما بيبقى فيها بتصير اسئله كتير وبتصير جدل واسع وبيكون حواليها كلام وبتنتشر بسرعه رغم انه مش مصري ولا عربي احنا معانا رسام الكاريكاتير البرازيلي كارلوس لاتوف ويلكم مستر كارلوس Thank you very much, but there is no need to call me Mr. Okay. 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 So Carlos Latou. Yes, yeah, great. Right. Okay. Yes. Uh, at first, lots of Egyptians saw your so saw, saw your artworks, and some of them only know that you are just a Brazilian cartoonist. So, what would you like to tell them about yourself? Well, I used to say. Uh, there is nothing special about my personal life, you know. I, I am a very ordinary guy. Just a Brazilian artist with some conscience and who put his art at the service of social movements in Brazil and overseas. That's all. Okay. Um, okay, I'll translate that, okay? Okay. Um, هو بيقول ان هو دايما بيقول ان ما فيش حاجه خاصه او حاجه مهمه ممكن يقولها عن حياته الخاصه هو مجرد رسام كاريكاتير برازيلي مهتم بالقضايا والحركات الانسانيه والمجتمعيه في البرازيل وفي كل انحاء العالم. What makes a Brazilian cartoonist care about Arab causes? Um. It started with Palestinians, you know, mm-hmm. when I was in Palestine in 1999. Uh, and after visiting Palestine, West Bank, I spent 15 days there. Mm-hmm. And after knowing how Palestinians live, uh, I can say the Palestinian cause opened the windows for. Uh, other uh, Arab countries, you know. So um, after uh, knowing something about Palestine, I was able to lo- to know something about the Arab countries, you know. But since last year, I got immersed in the reality of Middle East, thanks to the Arab Spring, thanks to Egypt. <laughs> عن ايه اللي خلى رسام كاريكاتير برازيلي يهتم بالقضايا العربيه وهو قال ان اهتمامه بالقضايا العربيه بدا من زيارته لفلسطين سنه 1999 وخصوصا الضفه الغربيه وان ده كان بمثابه يعني شباك بص منه على العالم العربي والاهتمام بالقضايا العربيه زاد اكثر من سنه تقريبا او سنه ونص مع صورات الربيع العربي وهو بعد كده قال شكرا كارلوس your vision about the situation in Syria reflects your objection for what happened there why in Syria you mean اها uh-huh, in Syria yes okay um, I've been attacked Uh, on Twitter for my uh, opinions and cartoons uh, related to Syria because today it's almost impossible to discuss uh, the Syrian crisis in reasonable terms. People uh, is bringing the war to the blogosphere is bring the war to Twitter. They are not interested in discussing, they are interested in attacking, that's all. Mm-hmm. And my opinion is, I believe there is a real um, opposition in Syria. Mm-hmm. I believe, because Bashar al-Assad is definitely a dictator. But mm-hmm. I also believe Uh, there is a big part of this so-called uh, opposition 
backed by United States, backed by uh, European Union, backed mm -hmm. by the Gulf dictatorships, uh, Qatar, Qatar uh, Saudi Arabia, and this is this is not uh, related to bringing democracy or human rights or anything, you know. It's about geopolitics. It's about um, strategy, you know, because uh, let's be honest. United States, uh, Washington is definitely not interested in, in human rights or democracy. They mm -hmm. never brought democracy to Middle East because, in fact, Middle East don't need anyone to take democracy there. You Arabs will achieve your own freedom. You don't need anyone from Washington to tell you uh, uh, what uh, democracy is all about. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, بتتكلم عن الثورة في سوريا كلها بتعبر عن رأيه اللي هو معارض للي بيحصل هناك وهو قال إنه هو مش معارض للي بيحصل هناك وهو متأكد واثق من وجود معارضة حقيقية في سوريا ووجود ثورة في سوريا لكن المشكلة إن ده في حرب دلوقتي هناك ما بين قوتين وإن في قوة القوة المعارضة للنظام السوري مدعومة من دول زي أمريكا وزي أوروبا وبعض الدول العربية وإنه أمريكا مش هتقدم الديمقراطية للشرق الأوسط بس مهتمة بمصالحها الشخصية.